here we go. Baby, this is my time. Because Cheryl is serving me. She's not just doing her job because she get paid for it. It's, it's her spirit that's speaking out. The server is not ready to serve if they're not open to serve. If they don't know that they're supposed to be serving, everything is not going to work out. It's inside of you. She can't make me do nothing I don't want to do. I have to want it. So what I'm going to talk about is my why. I got four people that depend on you. But not just those four people, my community and my family. My family, I'm usually the rock, I'm usually the ghost person. I'm usually that strong friend. So I needed for God to plant strong friends in my life that I can, that can pour into me. Because when you're a pillar in a community, you don't want to show your weakness. You don't want to talk to people about certain things because of their judgment. A lot of you guys and other people in the community are going to go through the same struggles and the same things that we have experienced as well. Okay, so I want to talk about a leap of faith and how I took a leap of faith and I probably encourage you guys to take a leap of faith when it comes to you guys' business. Um, I took a leap of faith um, years ago. As far as me starting this leap of faith, I moved to South Bend. I moved to South Bend with no family, no friends, nobody I even really knew here, for real, but uh, uh, my friend who I moved here with. Well, man, you so, moved to South Bend, I just went to <laughs> I had a friend at the time, and she used to commute back and forth because she had a friend at the time going to school at Holy Cross. So she used to always come back and forth, but I asked her, I'm like, okay, how is South Bend, what's to do? And she was like, well, you know, honestly, I really don't know. All we do is go to the basketball games and they go out to eat, but I really don't know. And I'm like, well, I'm down for a change because all the violence and stuff was going on in Chicago. Um, that year, approximately, Chicago became the murder capital, and then I lost a lot of people, like, every month. I either lost a friend or lost a family member, like, back to back for maybe, like, three years straight. Wow. So I was just wanting to get away from it. So I took a leap of faith and came to a place that I knew nothing about. So when I first moved here, I was very homesick, like homesick, missing the food, missing my friends, missing my family, like missing everything about Chicago because this place was so small and it wasn't like Chicago as far as uh, the interaction, fast, yeah, I used to like to party, so it was Adriana's every Thursday, we had KOD Fridays, we had the Factory Saturdays, the Risto Sundays, I was used to that, I swear, bro. it was, you know, that every week, I used to do that, Thursday to Sunday, party. I didn't know about the clubs, nothing like that. Maybe around like Mother's Day, I had saw the Anvets had something going on. It was people outside. So I'm like, well, maybe this is where is that? Let me go in here and see what's going on. No. So I went in there. I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's all right. And then I ended up seeing my cousin who stayed in Ben Harbor. So he was there. He was like, we finna go to Sky. And I'm like, well, what is Sky? I'm finna go with y'all. I'm gone. We out of here. You know, so with the Sky. And that's how I found out about um, more party scenes as far as in South Bend. But I was still a lot homesick, like I say, going back and forth to Chicago. And here, um, when I first moved here, I still was using my cosmetology license. I was still trying to push hair. But um, my clientele wasn't how I wanted it to be as far as me, uh, my schedule stay book. I specialize in children hair, but I still commuted in there like braids and sew-ins, but not so much. It was more of taking kids here, taking care of their hair, because a lot of parents don't know how to do that, especially interracial clients. So a lot of my people was a lot of interracial that had African-American <laughs> kids, but they didn't know how to manage their hair. So um, I did that for quite a while, so I came here trying to go straight into a hair shop, and it wasn't jumping off for me how I wanted it to be. I wanted my clientele to be here like it was when I was in Chicago. I wanted my tips to be here, and it wasn't that, so I found myself getting my first job, which I never had a job. I had did hair since I was 10 years old all the way up. So I started working at Walmart, and I'm like, man, this ain't no enough money, and they, they talking about minimum wage, 725, where they do that at? Like, I can't, I can't take care of my kids with no 725. So then I started getting other jobs. I had a second job. I worked at McDonald's, um, Walmart, and Toys R Us at one point. And then I still was working in a salon too. So I had like four jobs at one point within my um, first year here. But I was going so back and forth and I was so homesick, I moved back to Chicago. So I was only here in South Bend in 2013 for a little bit. And then I moved back to Chicago because I was homesick. But it wasn't moving how I wanted to move there. Um, I didn't have my own crib. I was forced to move back at home with my mama, and uh, it was stuff that I liked to do that I knew I couldn't do in my mama house. So I'm yeah. like, 
<laughs> and you know what? It's time to go. You know, like, I don't want to do it. And I had been out her house since I was like 18. When I was 18, I had moved down on my own. So I'm like, I can't do this. I'd have been out this long and I can't do this. So I'm like, you know what? I'm finna, I'm finna go back to South Bend. I say I'm already enrolled in school out there, which I enrolled into the Ivy Tech for the nursing program to get my CNA. So I'm like, I'm just finna move back to, um, to South Bend and get my life together, you know. So I moved back. And I moved back with no car, no job, no nothing. And then within the first week of me moving back here, I had a crib. And then that next week, I had got a car. And then that next week, I had got a job. And then that next week, I had got my child here. And then that next week, I had food steps, like every day. Every day, like one month, I had everything. I said, you know what, God? It was meant for me to be here. So, uh, I, I was in Chicago six, seven months to move back, and I didn't have really too much of nothing. But I came back here and got everything. Right. So I'm like, okay, I'm working in the nursing home field and everything, and you know, get it going. So I did that for a few years. It was, it was probably why uh, a lot of people may know me from the nursing home field because I didn't work there quite. I didn't ran through the nursing homes. I ain't gonna lie. Right, so um, I did the nurse home thing and the pandemic hit last year and then that's what uh, caused me to launch Keep It Q Boutique. I did have inspiration during the journey as far as me launching Keep It Q Boutique and I was always wondering like, well, how I'm just going to get out here and start selling clothes and stuff and don't nobody know me? You know what I'm saying? Like, so how can I get myself out there? So I did have like a first lunch kind of party pop-up shop event that did really well for me. That kind of put the buzz in people's ears to know who I am. And then I jumped into people events last year, last summer, um, vendors events. So that kind of, it kind of engaged. But what I also did is, people might not know, my, my government name is Jocelyn Franklin. But I go by Nikki Cole. She got an alias. <laughs> Jocelyn Franklin is my government name, but I go by Nikki Cole um, because don't nobody really call me Jocelyn unless I went to school with you or work with you. Everybody call me in Chicago, Nicole, Nikki, Cole, Nick. You know, it, it, it go around that Where area. So Nicole is my middle name, but I, on my dad's side, they call me Nikki. Right. On my mom's side, they call me Nicole. <laughs> Like, yeah. I'm gonna be a man of the day. Wait, look. So, um, I just like to combine it. I put it together. Because since my dad's side called me Nikki, and then my mom's side called me Nicole, and then all my friends, they call me Nikki, Nicole, or Cole, I'm like, I'm just gonna call myself Nikki Cole. This gonna be my name. You know, I had made another Facebook page outside of my Jocelyn Franklin page. I made another Facebook page, and I start adding everybody in South Bend. I added everybody. I didn't, even, I, didn't, I didn't even know I was just adding every female that I could possibly name just so they could see that I sell clothes. You know what I'm saying? Just so I could get some sales. So I added everybody and I just was making posts and everything, different things like that. Then when I had figured out that South Bend is on the board as far as vendors events, that's what it caused me to um, have a bigger vendors event. And I was still wondering then, like, man, is people really going to want to be in my event, they don't know how, you know, they don't really know me, they don't know my vibe, they don't know my energy for real, so I don't know if they're really going to be engaged, but I kept it so professional and, and such it. and such good vibes, and I tried to reach out to as many vendors as I can, if you need help with this, if you need help with that, if you need recommendations for business cards, if you need recommendations for banners, you know, I got you, and I tried to put all that in the packet too, in case they needed those different resources, but I did open up the door for if they needed to just talk to me one-on-one -on -one about some stuff, they may have been getting discouraged along the way. And you know, and I was that push for them to say, no, you gonna do this, you yep. still got this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't have all the answers, but I can answer your questions as best uh, to my ability. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people did reach out to me, and a lot of people still reach out to me as far as business. They have questions about um, vendors events. They just have questions about launching a business, or they have questions about inventory, just anything, and I was just so shocked on little old me not being from here, <laughs> and people was really like wanting to know my insight on things. In Chicago, I did a lot of stuff. I was a, um, I was a platform artist. I worked with the underground music industry, with uh, underground artists that was coming up, like King Louie when he was young. You know, we were around the same age, but when he was younger, I was working with him, doing, doing videos with him, like 
old videos with him and um, Shauna when she had kind of took a break, but she was still kind of rapping in clubs and stuff like that. I used to be like hand in hand with her. Do you have both? Yeah. Girl. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It's the fan in me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I used to do they, they models um, makeup and hair. More so hair. I, I, I learned makeup from school, but it wasn't like my passion or what I wanted to do. It was more of a hair thing. So like when they models had needed to switch up, like a scene or something like that, I was that person to help them. Come on, let's hurry up and change your clothes and let me fix your hair real quick. That's what I was doing with the music video parts. But I also advanced in the industry as far as being a platform artist like, meaning like if you come to our booth and you want your hair done we might do like a quick weave or a quick or a quick wig or something like that but we'll be coaching doing a process like it'll be somebody on the mic talking and um, they uh be on the mic talking and um explaining what's going on so i just want to explain like a leap of faith you know don't be discouraged with this business world because it can be very discouraged you know i got discouraged with my first field in the, in the in the business as far as here that discouraged me a little bit but i feel like i'm still kind of in the industry i just did it i just went up a different route because this is all still considered beauty what i'm doing so all that knowledge that i had gained from school and all the experiences it's helping me now and it's helping me grow it's helping my business so, Most intellects do 